Daniels is getting absolutely hammered in this opening. Takes or queen B. I mean, everything is collapsing here. Just completely destroyed out of the opening. Even knight f4 is good, but this this is just a disaster, complete disaster. Okay, Magnus wins the game four and a half, four and a half, three in a row. I don't know what it is. All right, four and a half, four and a half. They're tied right now. This is the rubber match. Like a kooky for the prime. A Magnus won three in a row. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Weird. Okay, pretty standard opening here. The Karo Khan, the C5 line. You're surely played this and beat Vessel and Topolov in the London Chess Classic in 2016, I think it was, or 17. So pretty standard opening. Yeah, it's four and a half, four and a half, three in a row. I'm not real. The shelf talks for itself indeed, yeah. Who would I say is better, better mouse speed? I don't know. Uh, Mamadov is no longer on the Blitz leaderboards. Uh, is it drama time? Really? <laughs> oh! Oh, but this is bad, apparently. I thought Danny hit him with a tactic, but apparently computer hates this. Uh, I think so you just go like rookie one and 94 and you just crush, I guess. Something like... Uh, 94, 96, jumbo pony. He's going to get the jumbo horse on D6 here. Maybe he's going to go king f4 for, for the memes. Queen d5, king f4, knight d6. But I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, probably you just trade and put the pony on d6. I don't know. King f4 is a very funny move for the memes, but it's not actually good. These are a far leg for the prime. These are a far leg. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, you guys. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, Kongfish doesn't like the jumbo pony. Yeah, probably not. Ah, uh, but Magnus wants Bishop A3 and big pressure here. Ninety some Bishop A3 and computer likes Bishop A6 and Bishop D3. I mean, very dank stuff. Very, very dank, dank, dank stuff. a3 okay bishop a6 i mean i guess it's the best move i mean once you realize this is coming in kind of probably you play it but yeah knight g6 of course very human move but apparently a mistake don't ask me why yeah no i, I have no idea what the drama is because i i mean like i lost to ralph the game seemed normal i didn't think there was anything weird about the game but then he resigns against Magnus in one move, and then he's like gone from all the leaderboards. And it's just like, I mean, I don't know. Oh, he is on the leaderboard? No, but many people said he's not on the leaderboard. So I, I have no clue what the heck is going on. No clue at all. He's not on leaderboard? Okay. I mean, Magnus is a king in the middle of the board, but he does have rook d1 coming in here. Very messy game. Okay, what do we got? Queen a5 played here. Um, can be too logical. Guards the bishop, targets the knight. Maybe rook ac1 next move. Oh, yeah, we're talking about chess.com, yeah. No, Magnus is definitely playing this seriously. Um, this looks very scary. The White King is actually much safer than Black King because you can go F2, G1 eventually. And I, th I think Magnus will win this game. Like King F2 and King G1. And White has King safety. Black's King is not even remotely safe on C7. Like, Rook C1. I mean, this looks horrible. Yeah, this looks... I don't know, Queen D2 maybe to go to A5. There's Knight B5. Or King, King G1 is nice. And we just like Bishop C5, Queen A3 and go all in. Queen d2, maybe? Maybe bishop c5 and queen a3 also. I'd probably play queen d2. Like a5, maybe like some rook c5 stuff. Something like this makes sense with rook c5. Oh, but there is queen h6 there, so. 
Yeah, now the bishop gets in, you get, get a nice little wooden shield. You can also just eat the pawn on a5, which should just be winning. Dan is trying to run his king out to safety, but I think he's too slow. Well, maybe king e8, knight d6, king f8, he's fine. He has a miles north for the nine months. Thanks so much a miles north. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, knight b6. Wait. Wait, was that just a... Wait. I saw the bar just lose its mind there for a second. Eric seems very mad at the moment about what? But, I mean, like, was he gonna, was he gonna get a higher result if if ba Baka did not drop out as well? Or is it just that nobody knows what the heck is going on right now? I mean... Yeah, I don't think any... Oh, nice move by Magnus. He eats all the pawns. Bishop d4, rook h5, rook h4. What's the time? Rook f6. And rookie six. Yeah, okay. Magnus will win this game. Oh my gosh. Wow. Draw five, five. Magnus could not win that. I'm kind of shocked by that. He, he, he lost too much time on the night of one check. He lost like two seconds there. Big oof. Big oof. Yeah, it's 5-5. Five, five. Old man Magnus? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe... I don't know. Knight F1, he should not have used all that time. Thank you so much to Quixote for the two months. I mean, maybe he's using a touchpad or something. I don't know. Because I do feel like Magnus is definitely a little bit... Uh, uh, Magnus is definitely a little bit slow. Norway Internet L, funny. Yeah. I don't know. What is Queenie 1, by the way, by Danya? And is the idea to go F3 and Queen G3? I've definitely never seen this approach. This is a new one even to me. I don't think he uses a touchpad either. Dubov does, but I don't think Magnus does. But he he seems a little bit slow at times. Uh, who won the two titles? I won the morning one, and then Magnus won the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Knight of Force played, so probably just Bishop. Oh, okay, he takes. Okay. So, all right. Magnus took too much time checking Stockfish. Good one. Yeah. 5-5. Five, five. All right, I'm going to go use the restroom very quickly, and then we'll then I'll come back. Still probably going to be in, like, another 5-10. All right, what happened? More moves? Um, more moves. Let's see. Okay, right, what do we have? F6, Bishop H4, probably some Knight C4 or something. They move it pieces while you're gone. Ah, okay. Okay, knight c4. Yeah, somehow Dan has got this rook on h3 that's just completely misplaced. Probably knight a5, knight c4. Like queen, queen, a, queen b5, and then knight a5, knight c4. Probably queen c6. Oh, or queen b3, knight c4. Yay! Things are going to sell 10,000 for the four months. Thanks so much to sell. Appreciate it. I mean, f5 just takes. Yeah, Magnus is about to take the lead 6 5 here. I mean, he's definitely found his footing after that, uh, af after those first, like, five games. Rook B1? Uh, but just takes in rookie seven. 
And there's just like Queen C1, F4. Or, or this one as well. They, they all, all roads lead to Rome. Uh, beast mode with a nine hour 30 stream. Yeah, we're like nine and a half hours in. Yeah, why not? It's chess. It's, it's good content. It's fun to watch th these top players play. Should be a checkmate somewhere in here. 90, uh, yeah, and just queen d1. Nice. Okay, Magnus takes the lead. 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five here. Do we get a Sicilian from Daniel? So Magnus is, is clawing it back now. I don't think Daniel will win the match, most likely. I, I don't see it happening. But maybe. Okay. Knight d4, of course. Rookie one, and knight d5. There's going to be some knight d5 nastiness somewhere in here that's going to be crushing. Oh, e5 is winning here. Isn't, isn't e5, e takes f6 and 90? Wait, isn't this my game against Luke Van Whaley? Or am I crazy? Or maybe it's a different game from the French League. I feel like I had this exact position with some e f6, 96. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I feel like I had this exact position against somebody. I'm not sure who it was against, but I think I had this. Maybe it was with the pawn on g4, but it was very similar to this. Who is it against? Is it Ninov or Nimov? Who is it against? Um, I think it was French League 2009, maybe. But I mean, it's going to take me forever to find the game, so I'm not going to look right now. But I had something very similar to that. In fact, I think Magus might have had something similar too. I'm eating some. I'm eating mom spaghetti. I mean, Danny wants to go Queen F6 and Queen F3 with the battery, but probably it doesn't work since Bishop F4. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm eating mom's, mom's spaghetti. All right. Bishop d4, e5, takes, 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 b4, and there's counterplay for black. Let's see. Is Darren in the top five GMs uh, in 3-0? Absolutely. 100%, yeah. Okay, bishop d4, e5 is still very messy because there's always this b4 lever. Although you can take uh, queen f3 still. Still tricky because queen f3 and you get batteried. No, at 3 1, Dan is probably not, I mean, probably honestly, like, probably like top 20 in 3 1. But in 3 0, I think he's probably top 5. In 3 0, I, he's definitely better than Dubov. Yeah, with increment, I don't think so. But, but, it, but in 3 0. I, I think Dan is probably top. He's probably top five. I mean, I maybe MVL or Nepo are above him, but they don't play much, so it's hard to judge. But other than those two guys, the, there are only three people I think who are better, who are clearly better than Daniel in 3 0. So, I always sleep on Nihal. No, I don't sleep on Nihal. Magnus is still better, but it's tricky. Okay, probably rook d8. Okay, king f2, logical human move. He wants rook d7. Or rook d8. I mean, I think Magnus is about to... Or Magnus is white. Yeah, he's about to win again. We'll see. Okay, now there's some tricks, though. There's some tricks here. 
still probably winning h3 is an excellent technical move for magnus this whole g3 h3 b3 just to cut off the knight no jumps brilliant brilliant technique Yeah, Magnus showing some really, really good technique here in the end game. Really, really good technique. The online chess world needs Ali Reza back. I think Ali Reza just isn't, um, he just isn't playing online anymore. That's all there is to it. Bishop d4, oy, oy, oy. Here in rook d7. Magnus wins again. 7-5. Thanks so much a big win is worth the prime. Thank you so much a big win is. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we got a modern dis modern system here. Ali Rez is in France. Um... No, all the residents in France, he's not in Iran anymore. Yeah, Magnus plays this E6, B6 stuff that he was playing. Uh, I think it's against someone in like the Meltwater. I think he plays against Hans, Hans Neiman, right? In this Meltwater. The, in the Miami Meltwater, I think he was playing this E6, B6 stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. He started winning after he called him drunk. Okay, let's see what's happening. Probably just rook g3. But again, some e5, d5. This is a classic Magnus position. He loves it. Um, Who bans Neiman? No, no, no. It's it's Hans Neiman, not bans, Neim bans Neiman, you guys. Relax. Probably Bishop F1 or Rook D. Yeah, I mean, I don't like what this Rook on F3 just looks totally misplaced somehow. Yay! He's almost to uh, Papa Icky for the seven. Some D5 coming in here. Thank you so much to, again, Papa Icky for seven months. Appreciate it. Yay! I mean, at some point, D5 is coming, and I don't think it's going to be very good. Thank you so much Chris Ramsey for the two months. Okay, Dan is trying to reroute the ponies. Maybe F1 as well. Maybe. I don't know which square he's going to from D2. I assume F1, G3. Or F1, E3. C4 just feels a little bit sketchy because B5, B4, but... We'll see. I went to C4 because of D5, Knight E5. That's why I went this way. But the problem is, I think, I mean, Dan has got to go Knight E3 and just hope that there's some kind of there's some kind of uh, attack, which I don't see right off. But it's the only try. But where's where's? Yeah, I'm not feeling this for Dania. Not feeling. It. I think he's in trouble. I mean, isn't e4 and queen b4 at the right triangle? Just gg. It's like it's it's the half right triangle. Queen b4. Thank you so much to X Thorak for the tier one. Thank you so much to X Thorak. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Yeah, pretty good stuff from from Magnus. He's kind of woken up here. Of course, it's the right triangle. It's also the, uh, it's actually the, yeah, perfect. It's a perfect pyramid 90, right? Yeah, it's a perfect pyramid 90. Just takes because you have queen b1 checks. There are no, no weird fossils. Just takes with a knight. If you take with a queen, there's knight f5. If you, just, if you just take with a knight and then go queen b1, or takes followed by a5, I mean, it's just GG's. Thank you so much to Mirasio with the prime and Venomous for the 26. Thank you so much.
probably rook c4 oh wait no rook c4 hangs a rook so probably rook e8 actually rook e8 just avoid anything check king f8 and there's no attack you just lose rook c7 or rookies probably just rook c7 even a5 is good enough here but you just go rook c7 and guard the pawn okay, or knight f6 also good yeah what do y'all think delugi is thinking right now like he's legit waiting on magus apology and his public statement i told you guys my, my 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 view on everything earlier so there's nothing left for me to say i it's just uh, frankly very bizarre queen e4 probably oh but then there's rook g3 and some rook f6 bunk maybe just queen e7 although it's kind of hard to want to play queen e7 here Thank you so much to Mossingen for the 31 months. Thank you so much to Mossingen. I love how the computer plays Queen A1. Like, Queen A1, like, what the heck kind of a move is Queen A1? A little bit spicy, though. Oh, but takes you just... Yeah, you just trade Queens, and, and now you just go Rookie 7. And you're up 20 seconds and a piece, and... Yeah. Rook B7. not enthused I mean this is winning and he's up 10 seconds but I have six and takes Knight h5 work d2 and now um oh he tricked him Knight g6 you gotta go Magnus you gotta go okay Knight d5 and King f4 and 97. Okay. Yeah, now Magnus wins again. Yeah, this is 8 5. 8 5. Okay. Or no, sorry, 7 and a half, 5 and a half. My mistake. So Magnus up by 2 after 13. Pretty, pretty close so far. Wait, was that a draw? Wait, what? Oh, I was. I, that game ended so fast. Wait, what? Really? Wait, I didn't even notice that game. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so brutal. So I, when I said eight, five, I wasn't wrong. It's just that I didn't see the stalemate. Yeah. Yeah, Eric Rosen style tricks. Exactly. Okay, classic Magnus position, by the way, with the Isolani. He loves the isolated pawn. I've lost some games against him in the structure. He loves the structure. So now the pawn at e6 super oh uh, wait but queen b6 what is knight d3 i mean now queen b6 and it's a double double you hit you hit both both the bishop and the pawn at the same time maybe you can go queen a4 okay i don't know why i didn't play queen b oh there's maybe queen a4 and bishop d a6 bishop d7 something like that maybe i don't know Tricky, tricky, Dania, yeah. No, this is good stuff. Am I guaranteed to play Magneto in Iceland? No, I'm not, actually. Um, I don't know what the groups are going to be. By the way, Dania's just getting absolutely hammered in this opening. Takes or Queen B... I mean, everything is collapsing here. Just completely destroyed out of the opening. Even Knight of Four is good, but this, this is just a disaster. Complete disaster. Yeah, this is just dead. Is this a Fortnite song? Is it? I didn't know if it was. Maybe it is. Is it? There's Rook C1, Knight C5. Very, very strong position. I'd probably just go Knight F4 here to trade. Like Rook C1 and then maybe like Knight F4. Uh, Bishop, no, Bishop C6 you can take. Oh wait, no. Goes for this instead. But even this is just completely collapsing. Oh, some kid made a Fortnite cover of the song? Ah, okay. No, in, in, uh, in Iceland, I don't know who I play because the groups are not set yet, so I, I have no idea.
Maybe just like H3, create some lift here. All right, <clears throat> probably just B4, Rook D6. Should just be very simple. When do I go to Toronto? I'll be leaving on Thursday. My YouTube notification show you put out a new video. How do you find to make YouTube videos and share at the same time? Well, you guys have a great team that works with me and uh, we try to bring you guys great content. Obviously, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's everybody works very hard on my team. So again, all your subs, all the support you do give to me, um, it directly goes back into the business. So thank you so much for all the support, you guys. You're amazing. Funny thing is, like, if Rooks come off, this might actually be a draw. So, yeah. Yeah, so, like, all your support, you guys. Like, it, you know, all this stuff I do without, uh, without, like, without, um, you know, without anything from, like, what the fridge is this by Magnus? Rook D6 was apparently a draw. Um, but now white is a connect three, and this eh, it should be winning, but the bishop is also kind of dominated by this connect three. We'll see. It's a little bit sketchy. Like, I don't there's also Queen C4. Maybe Queen A6 and Rook D1 or Queen B3 also. This looks very scary. I don't like what Magnus has done at all here. At all. He's in a lot of trouble. I think JVG for 28 months because I'm going to be filming some IRL chess there. So that's what we're doing. The support goes into your newly acquired business from your dad. LOL. Right, Seabrig. Exactly. Yes. Somehow Danny must play this. There's probably some Queen E8 B6. Yeah, exactly. You guys, the, um, yeah, the, the, yeah, all, all, all that I make here goes into, goes into that business that I'm taking over that business. that's like worth tons and tons of money, right? <laughs> yeah. Magnus better prove it fast or else he does this rook d1 he has c7 he also covers the square I don't think he's got it though because there, there's a big threat there are checks everywhere there are checks on both these squares to make the queen yeah I, th I think he's gonna lose you just you just can't dodge all the checks queen e1 is good c8 is good Dan has got no time here so he's gonna lose just queen e8 and queen e5 or queen e8 queen h5 either one yeah So, all right. Magnus wins. Eight and a half, five and a half, up by three. Thanks so much, James Warner, for the prime. Thanks so much, James Warner. Appreciate it. So, yeah, eight and a half, five and a half. I'm filtering all the money into my slush fund. Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm a future king of New York. Yep. My response to Delugia was perfect. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? Like, yeah, the Cushy Chess School retirement plan. Out of all the things I would want to do in the world, that is literally the last thing I would want to do. Like, uh, being honest, like, the last thing I would ever want to do is, like, be a chess coach after I stream or quit playing professional chess. It's literally the last thing on my mind. I, I, there's nothing that I want to do less than that. So, I mean, hey, it's it's all good. It's all good, but, yeah, that's, that's, not, my, that's, not, my, that's not my life goal. And never say never right. <laughs> Never say never, exactly, yeah. Dan is playing well, but I feel like he tilted. When he got at four and a half, one and a half, he, he became a little bit too calm. Not calm, but it became too comfortable, and he's paying a big price here. Thanks so much to Dramatard for the prime. Thanks so much to Dramatard. Why do I have an interest? It's just not It's not something that really interests me. Um, I'm not putting down to Lugie's job. No, no, I'm not putting it down. My stepfather's taught chess in New, in, in, in New York for like the last almost 50 years, so... I mean, I have a lot of respect for people who do it. It's just not something that I have a big interest in. Probably C6 here. Although Magnus did blunder a pawn, but still, there's a lot of counterplay. Like, Rook D8. Probably going to be a draw, if I had to guess. I mean, White is an extra pawn, but opposite color B shops. So, probably likely to be a draw. Yeah, direct competitor to Lugi. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what? Bishop G4? what the heck um okay magnus just blunders this okay danny gets a gift and now it's only two again 
Yeah, Danny gets a huge gift, and now it's back to two. I mean, everything wins here. So this is on. This is on Danny. He better not blow this. Still here post work meeting. Yeah, this match is still going on. We're just covering it. No reason not to. You know, we got eleven thousand people enjoying the chest, so might as well keep going. But, yep. No, I mean, I have nothing wrong. Chess teachers are, you know, it's something they do. I mean, I have a lot of respect for them. As I've said many times, as, as far as the whole profession goes, there are a lot of people who wish they could be professional uh, chess players and they can't make it. And teaching is a very valuable way for them to stay involved in the chess world and make a living without having to go and get a completely different job. So, um, does Levy still teach in New York City? Does that mean he's a Luigi competitor? Yeah, Levy, Levy doesn't teach, I don't think. But if he did, yeah, Levy would be a huge competitor as well. Everybody everybody would be a competitor, which is why the whole thing is completely comical to begin with. I'd probably play G3 here, by the way. Just get some get some space. Get some air for my king. Because now, I don't know, I, you kind of worry about some... Okay, never mind. I, was, I would still go G3, okay? Probably at some point you go E5, but not easy maybe g3 i mean daniel still should win this game if he doesn't win this game this will be fairly disappointing to put it mildly yeah okay i mean come on daniel are you really gonna throw this king g2 queen b2 e6 must be winning Maybe e6 as well, but I just go king g2 and then queen b2, e6, takes, takes, and then bishop g5, cut it off. It does e6, which is another approach. Since birth, just subscribe. Ruru Hikaru. Probably trade, trade, and knight c1 is the idea. I don't think they're playing their particular score. But I could be wrong on that. Yeah, probably knight a2. I mean, white should just put basically the bishop on e4. Oh, I don't like h4. I thought bishop e4, f3, g4 was the way to basically lock everything in place. Bishop... Um... Okay, but now, yeah, Dan Daniel might have to prove this bishop and pawn. f3. Yeah, if Daniel might have to prove this. Oh, king d3. Yeah, king c2. Yeah, I, I think he's going to win this game. Yeah, now knight, knight c3 and knight, knight b1. Also knight b5. Yeah, I put the bishop on e4 too. Yeah, now run the king up. Yeah. Knight e5. Probably f4. Uh, Dan, Dan, okay. Okay. Yeah, Daniel knows the technique. This is not even going to be close, it looks like. Okay, now, now he knows it, yeah. Yeah, now now he knows it. Okay. Yeah, now now he got it. Yeah, knight b seven and king c six. Yeah. For a second he almost got careless, but yeah, he was he was able to keep it keep it correct. So seven and a half, six and eight and a half, six and a half. It's back to two.